Good day everyone and welcome to your channel TechWine. In this video we will be taking a look at mega course on Python. This course is from Google itself and the goal of this course is to take you from beginners to professional level. We have lot of things to discuss today so buckle up and let's dive right into the video. Google IT Automation with Python is one of the courses among Google Career Certificates. On your screen, you can see the list of certifications that Google is providing in their career certifications. The aim of all these certifications is to make you job ready. So, if you want to a tech giant, mein job karna hai, then you should definitely take a look at all these certifications. But today we will focus on IT automation with Python certification. I have mentioned earlier this is mega course of Python which provides you chance to learn from 6 different courses and also get certified from Google for the skills you learn in these courses. The name of all these courses is mentioned on the top of your screen. We will explore them one by one but before that let me remind you all these courses are designed and organized by people working at Google and they have tried their best to make these courses interesting and easy to understand. If you complete even one course from the 6 different courses you will unlock a certificate like this and you can mention this certificate in your resume or share them on your LinkedIn profiles. The first course in the list is Crash Course on Python. On your screen you can see the things you will learn in this course. Basically you will learn basics of Python structures like strings, lists, dictionaries etc. This whole course is divided into 6 weeks. In first week you will be introduced to basics of Python programming and this will also cover some basic functions, keywords and some arithmetic operations. In the second week, you will learn about data types, variables, defining functions. You will also learn about if statement, else statements and elif statements. In the second week, you are provided with 9 reading documents and total of 4 practice exercises. This will conclude your week 2. In the week 3rd, you will be introduced to loops and in this section, you will learn about while loop, for loop and you will also be introduced to nested loops and the recursion. After that in the week 3rd you are provided with 7 reading documents and total of 4 practice exercises and this will conclude your week 3. In the week 4 you will learn about what is a string, different parts of a string, how to create a string and also you will be introduced to concept of lists. After that you will learn how to modify lists how to iterate over lists, tuples, etc. After that, you will be introduced to concept of dictionaries and how to iterate over contents of dictionary. In this week, you are provided with 15 reading documents and total of 4 practice exercises and this will conclude your week 4. In the 5th week, you will be introduced to object-oriented programming. Here, it is mentioned that this week is optional but I will suggest Please go through the content of this week very carefully because in this week you will be introduced to concept of object oriented programming and also learn about the classes and objects in python. You will also learn about instance method, composition, python modules etc. So this week is very important. After that in the fifth week you are provided with 12 reading documents and one practice exercise. And in the last week, that is week 6, you will put everything you have learned so far in action. That is, you will have to make a project. Once you submit your project, you have completed this course and you will get your certificate. The second course of this mega course is using Python to interact with operating system. In this course, you will learn how to set up, configure and use Python developer environment. You will also learn how to manipulate files and processes running on the operating system using Python. You will also learn to create scripts using Bash. 
This course is divided into four weeks. Complete all the four weeks of content and get the certificate for this course. I am not exploring each week in detail, otherwise video length will increase unnecessarily. But don't worry, in the description I have provided each and every link. Before moving forward, if you have liked the video so far, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps a lot. The third course of the list is Introduction to Git and GitHub. I remember one of my subscribers, Tarun Kohli was asking how to learn Git. Tarun and everyone, you can learn Git from this course. This is 4 weeks course designed to teach you everything about Git, like how to use and interact with Git, how to collaborate through remote repositories, etc. The fourth course is Troubleshooting and Debugging. In this 4 weeks course, you will learn how to analyze real world IT problems and how to solve them quickly. The fifth course of our list is Configuration Management and the Cloud. In this 4 weeks course, you will learn about automatically deployment of new computers, keeping those machines updated. Basically in this course you will learn how to manage both physical running computers as well as virtually running computers in the cloud. The sixth course is automating real world tasks with python. To enroll in this sixth course you will have to complete all other five courses that I have mentioned earlier. This four week course will teach you image manipulation, web services interaction etc. Now let's talk about how to enroll in these courses. There are two different ways to apply. Either you can purchase the subscription or if you do not have fund to purchase you can go for financial aid option. So click on this financial aid available. After that click on continue to the application. Now select the course you want aid for. After that click next. Now you will have to answer some questions and also tell why are you applying for this financial aid. Please express in very good way that you really need this aid. Set your income to zero. After that click on next. Now it will take at least 15 days to process your application. After that you can start learning and earn certificates. Don't forget to share this video with your friends who want to learn Python. This was all for today. Before leaving, please consider subscribing to my channel. We are very close to 1000 subscribers. I really appreciate your support for this channel. For the next time, stay safe, stay healthy.